So if healthcare was a country, it would be the fifth biggest emitter globally in terms of carbon emissions. It's responsible for about 5% of the overall global carbon footprint. It does have a sizable impact on the environment and we need to be thinking about that. Uh, but there are also other reasons why I think it's important to be thinking about sustainability in healthcare. So if we think about lots of the action that we need to take to address climate change, a lot of it is things that could also improve population health. Uh, shifting to active travel, cycling and walking, rather than being dependent on uh, cars. Changing our diets so that we're moving away from uh, meat and dairy consumption. If you look at the, the parts of the healthcare system that have the biggest environmental impact, it's the acute end of the services. It's, it's hospital care, it's specialist care. Um, so probably the biggest single thing that we can do to reduce that impact is to get better at intervening early. So if we can pick up people's symptoms early on, reduce um, any avoidable admissions to hospital, um, then that's going to be really good environmentally as well as for the patient. So when we're thinking about the value of healthcare, often we think about what outcomes is this service delivering for patients and how much does it cost? When we're thinking about sustainability, we really need to expand that bottom line. So as well as thinking about the financial costs, we're also thinking about what are the environmental costs and what are the kind of costs in terms of the impact that this could have on the communities we're operating in. I think we have to be honest that there is a need for investment here in the short term, but in the longer term, there is a real opportunity for sustainable healthcare to also be better in terms of costs. Fundamentally, sustainable healthcare is about moving to a more preventative, more proactive, more person-centred model of care. And all of that can be better financially and better for patients at the same time as being better for the planet. So I think there's five things that healthcare leaders can do. Firstly is, is just to provide visible leadership on this topic. So talk about it, raise it in meetings, talk with your colleagues. Um, the more that we do that, the more it becomes normalised and, and just part of uh, the business of our organisations. The second thing is about building capacity. We do need to make sure that we have the right skills in healthcare staff. We don't all need to become experts in environmental sustainability, but people need to know enough to be able to do their job in a sustainable way. The third thing is about um, scaling and spreading. There are reasons for optimism. There are loads of great examples across the world of healthcare systems that are taking these steps and becoming more sustainable. Looking at how we spread and scale innovation, making sure we use those mechanisms to learn from each other is really important. We also need to be able to measure the progress that we're, we're having. Um, so there are all kinds of tools out there to support uh, healthcare leaders in measuring the environmental impacts of the work that we do. Uh, and finally, don't think you need to do this alone. This is an area where we need to collaborate with each other. There is a growing community of healthcare leaders who are working on this agenda, who are trying to reimagine what healthcare services might look like in future in the context of environmental change. I think it's also really important to offer people hope because this is a, a serious situation we're in. We shouldn't kind of shy away from the gravity of it, but we also need to kind of offer people hope that there is a way forwards. There are things that we can do to uh, improve the impact of our, of our healthcare systems that can actually be better for everyone.